Sephora brand on sale. What I bought, hits and misses. Hello, beautiful people. Thanks for tuning in today. This is Anne, Fabulous Life 101. On my channel, you'll find everything from makeup to skincare to fashion to travel, anything that makes you feel more fabulous at any age. If you're not already a subscriber, could you please hit that subscribe button, the bell notifications right now. Thanks so much. Well, as many of you know, last week Sephora had a sale where all of Sephora brand products were 30% off. So I decided to try some new things. First thing I'm demonstrating today is the Sephora Smooth and Blur Primer. It has ginkgo extract and stabilized vitamin E. So I'm gonna start by putting this on my face. Now I did already apply my Supergroup sunscreen. I did not buy any Sephora brand sunscreen, so went ahead and used that. You always need to use sunscreen. I'm not sure exactly how much smoothing and blurring it does, but it's just a nice, soft, silky, creamy primer. Goes good pretty much under any makeup. And this is the first time trying Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation. I've never tried Sephora brand foundations before, so I'm going to do it now. Get a foundation brush and now so far I'm liking this foundation. It's just nice and smooth, medium coverage, spreadable. It says natural finish, long wear. Well, I'm going to put the long wear to the test and check it out and get back to you during the day. As I didn't buy any Sephora brand brow products, I'm going to go off camera right now and do my brows. Okay, I'm back. For the eyes, I bought two Sephora brand products. This seemed really interesting to me. Sephora Charged Up Long Wear Liquid Eyeshadow. And the color I got was called Power. It's just a sort of a nice neutral shimmer. This, I think, normally retails for $10 during this special sale. It was $7. This compares favorably to most other liquid eyeshadows I've tried. Usually after using the applicator, I like to take a brush and just sort of blot it and blend it a little bit better. Okay, that's just a nice basic shimmery eye. I also got one of these 12 hour colorful crayon contour pencils. I decided to try this pretty sort of turquoise color. It's called Peacock Blue. And let's just see how this goes. Just along the lash line. This, I can say it's okay. It's not my favorite pencil. I think I like the less expensive ones from um, Essence even better. LA Girl has a good one. On the high-end brands, um, I really like Stila but let's just see what I can do with this. I'm finding it makes me press harder than I normally like to with a pencil on the eye area. Okay, with this, the color's pretty, so it's not a total miss, but it's just not my favorite formula or texture, so it's not gonna be one of my big hits. I'm gonna go off camera and put on my mascara, and I'll be right back. Okay, mascara's done, now onto the cheeks. I bought this Empower Trio Face Palette, and this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna start with this darker color and just take a small brush and just dab it on the cheeks very, very lightly because I don't want, you don't want the cheeks to look too heavy, just that hint of color. Okay, yeah. Yeah, just to give it that hint of color. Then this color in the middle, this one here is sort of a blush highlighter combined, and I love this shade. And I'm gonna use this more generously along the cheeks and below the cheekbones. And this is more of a highlighter. Take a very light touch and just put dab up maybe here a little bit. 
And then I bought several lip products. First I bought this lip pencil. The color is Wino. It actually seems darker now that I've got it home than it did in the store. So I'm going to just gently line with this. I love the formula. I'm not crazy about the color. I think I may go back and get another one in like a nude. Well, let's get onto the other lip products. This is the lipstick I bought. I think this is a new collection, Lip Stories, and the color is Spark. And this I think is really pretty. I really like this color. It's just a little soft. I think I thought the wine would be a little more like this shade, but it came on much darker. But yeah, I really like this. And then if you want a little bit of extra sparkle, I bought this gloss. This is just sort of a gold lip gloss. And actually the color is called Money. The color of money. I really like that a lot. Okay, I'm going to go off camera a minute and finish up and I'll be right back. Just a little recap. The products I bought Sephora brand. This is the Smooth and Blur, Blur Primer. I really like this. This is about the third day I've used it, and it's just a nice general primer. I don't, I'm not sure if it smooths and blurs, but I think it's good for the skin. It helps the makeup to go on smoother. This is the foundation. So far, liking this a lot. I'm going to check back later today and let you know how it's holding up today. Okay, it's been about six hours, and this foundation is still holding up pretty well. I am liking this a lot. I think it's a pretty good deal, particularly if you get the sale like I did. And the Sephora Best Skin Ever, I'm not sure if it's the best skin ever, but I think it will be in my top 10 and will be in heavy rotation for a while. That, I love this little face palette. My favorite shade is this one in the middle, but this is just good for a little dot of color and this is good for highlight. This now these two pencils, the one for the eye, like the color, not crazy about the formula. The one for the lips, like the formula, not as crazy about the color. The other lip products that I love, this little lipstick, it's called um, Spark, made in Italy. Love it. And I also love the lip gloss, Brilliant Lip Gloss Money. So that's it for today. No real misses. Some I liked a little better than others. If you like this video, could you please give us a thumbs up? Also, do you have any favorite products from Sephora brand or any favorite products you buy at Sephora? I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Have a fabulous day. Peace, love, and light.